Hi guys, welcome to InfaMinutes. The next thing we are doing is Windows architecture. This would be a straight away Windows 7 architecture to be very precise. Let's try to understand the most important topics, although this thing requires good amount of reading at home. So guys, do read the notes which we have providing. More than that, you need to understand the major concept, remaining things you need to read. So let's go through the basics which we intend to. So in Windows architecture, the first thing we should always remember is Windows 7 works with the layered system. We have already talked about the layered architecture earlier Windows operating system. There are operating systems which works on the layer. They do have an advantage of adding new layers, new functionality, new components in the layer. The same advantage which we will get in Windows 7. So in Windows 7 what we have, let's try to understand. In the layered architecture we have two things. One is the protected mode in which layers will be used and second is a user mode okay protected mode would be more on the os side user mode would be more on application side let's try to know how it would work okay when it comes to protected mode we have the most important hardware abstraction layer kernel and the executives that means something which will gonna run is gonna run through the kernel hardware abstraction layer as we are showing over here the basic purpose of hardware abstraction layer is keeping OS away from the hardware implementation, making it OS more platform independent or hardware independent to work with. The basic option is going to be fairly simple. How all higher end applications would communicate with hardware abstraction layer and that would communicate with the kernel and after communicating with the kernel, then the final EHC or the execution will take place. But via the hardware? So that's basically the system called protected mode which deals with keeping application as well as the OS part away from the low level unnecessary details giving a platform independence, portability and the faster processing because hardware abstraction layer mainly takes care of using other level hardware to the best possible manner. So let's go with it going back to what we have so we say in protected mode we have three things everybody remember this we have a hardware abstraction layer a kernel and the executive going to the user mode now what exactly user mode is now when it comes to user mode it is more of adding modules applications everything so this would come above this particular point to talk about so user mode let's see what we have given collection of subsystem services dll and gui so subsystems are small part of the system which will enable user to carry out various activities services all the services provided by os happens to come through a channel called services right from double click opening directory executing a file all these are the services which are provided by the os Although the services would active certain DLLs to get into picture, DLL is dynamic link library which will basically do one major job is to link the activation mechanism to the calling mechanism. So basically many books also call it API which is an application programming interface. And finally what all we understand the GUI even right now you are witnessing a GUI. And in five minutes we have given you videos through a GUI via which you are operating it. You may be pausing video, going to the next video and clicking. Whatever you click on screen, the screen which you see with the video and other thing coming into picture, those screens are nothing but the GUI to get into picture. GUI, full form, graphical user interface which will enable user to use any software. Let's go with the next. The next is environmental subsystem which basically allows us to emulate different operating system. Yes, you heard it right, different operating system. Now what do you mean, sir, we are talking about Windows 7 anyways and you are saying different operating system. Okay, many of you till now might not have heard in semester 5, the higher semester perhaps you will come to know the concept of sandbox or ability called running x windows the basic logic over here is suppose you want to use linux or linux as many people call it 
The question remains is, how would you run it? One option, partition, install and work. In some cases, we don't require to do this because we just want to see the system, use or test it for a while. End of the day, what you have to get is something which we call as a virtual OS. The virtual OS is called the emulated different operating system in terms of Windows 7, which allows you to run operating system within another operating system. So, protections of system used for provide security, we already said, data security, user to user security, application security with reference to user. All this can be done when it comes to Windows architecture, the new thing. Going further, Windows services provide facility for network devices, interfaces, background execution, extension. This is not much new, this is the same old things which you get. You get internet through the networking services, LAN through networking services. Device interface allows us to connect printer, mouse, keyboard, speaker and so many other things. Background execution is always some services which are running, allowing you to run certain app because those services are running in the background and extension of a system is adding theme adding some next uh, softwares getting a default software overridden with something uh, 